Hello, you're very welcome to the first Daily Rundown of the week with me, Fiona Fox. Now, on the Daily Rundown, we look at some of the big stories of the day and some of the littler ones too that you might have missed. Today, we're going to be talking about Mercury. I know one of my guests is particularly excited about this one. Uh, later on, we're going to be doing some coffee tasting. So you have that to look forward to as well. But to start, I'll introduce the pair who will be discussing all of this news with tonight's guests. First of all, the comedian AJ Hill is here. Hello, AJ. Hello. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us this evening. And joining him on the couch is author Ian Pattinson. Ian, you're very welcome. Hello. Thank you for coming in to That's Manchester this evening. Thank you. Uh, looking forward to the chats with both you guys this evening, and it's, and it's AJ who's very excited about the Mercury. Uh, but you obviously knew that, Ian, because you knew it wasn't you. But uh, yeah, you're a you're little, you're little science ophile, aren't you? Oh yeah, I just, I just love space and stuff that happens over there. <laughs> well, we're going to go straight into it now. It's, it, it's not all about us on The Daily Rundown, it's about you as well. You can join in as well. Tweet us at The Daily Rundown. We'd love to hear from you what you're thinking. All right, let's go to our first news story. To kickstart the show, we're going to be talking about something very, very far away. There's been some unusual space activity recently and our reporter, Emmy Little, went to find out some more. Mercury is making a rare transit across the sun. We went to speak to some stargazers who had the best view. And it will take just over seven and a half hours to totally clear the disc. And as you can see at the moment, there's plenty of people coming up and looking at this once in a lifetime event for maybe a lot of them, maybe myself. <laughs> it was really interesting because it's like a little dot compared with all this sun. It's like a lot of times the size of the sun. You know, Mercury is really small. As a, as a human race, eventually we've got to move forward. Um, it's important we, we, we do our green and look after our planet, but eventually we're going to have to move out. We move out, we move out to a planet, and eventually maybe uh, other planets in other suns, and that's why astronomy is most important. But I think it's astronomy is the great frontier now, isn't it, of knowledge, of finding out you know, about the universe and things like this. So it's wonderful that everyone's so enthusiastic about it. Well, it's a very rare event. It doesn't happen again until 2019. And then it's like eight years or something in between. And the transit of Venus is e even rarer. That's when Venus goes across the face of the sun. Uh, not many of us alive will ever see that because it's not till 2116 or some, some date like that. It's a long, long way off. I'm actually uh, what's known as an eclipse chaser. I go to see total eclipses of the sun, and I've seen five up to now. If you stand in one place, you might never see one in your lifetime. Fortunately for me, there's one like an eight hour drive into the United States next August 21st, 2017, during, during the day, of course. And that's when the moon is big enough to completely cover the sun, and you get a full eclipse of the sun. Scientists will be watching closely to see what more we can learn about space. Emmy Little, Daily Rundown. Well, there you go, AJ. I know you were looking forward to that. Sorry. Sorry. You don't have to listen to me and to both uh, <laughs> coming at you on all uh, platforms. Uh, you're, I know you were looking forward to that. That is, that is fascinating. I'm a bit annoyed because I missed it. Uh, it was a fabulous day, I guess, to get out there and also try and catch it. Did you, one of you guys, did you just have a look? I didn't, well, I didn't look at it. Oh. I, I, I did, I looked at it on, on like the news and things right. like that, but um, I didn't look directly at the sun because I didn't have any filters and hashtag safety first, folks. Your eyes are important. So, yeah, um, I, I have been following the day's events and I find it a fascinating thing. I spent the day learning about Mercury and all the wonderful, interesting facts about the planet that I could find. Go on, Ty, no, you've got loads of well, yeah, uh, nuggets, uh, Mercury since nuggets. It's, since it was made-ish 4.5 billion years ago, Mercury has shrank by 8.5 miles. It's, it's shrinking and they don't quite know why. Right. Um, but they, they've sort of noticed, they had this probe going around it called Messenger and they noticed that it had like lots of ripples on it where it's, it's been shrinking. And, um, so maybe it's not a good option, like that guy was saying, you know, we need to sort of look into where we're going to move next. Mercury maybe Mercury, isn't going to be the no, best place to um, take ourselves you know, off to. It's getting smaller. So, right. Yeah, probably. And it's small to start with. It's smaller it was, than Earth. It's smaller than Earth. It's a bit hot in the air <laughs> and no atmosphere. So <laughs> it's quite Mars is the place to go, but probably we're not talking about Mars, so shut up again. No, it's, it's <laughs> fine. I, you know, all, all space things considered, it's, it's been a fascinating day for uh, for interplanetary and celestial things. We've had a Happenings. messenger think, of the gods. 
flying. Why flying. messenger of the gods is what there is referred as Mercury? Yes, it was. What the, it was, it was it the mythology. Roman? Yeah, Roman mythology. Yeah. The Greeks. Yeah. Um, so do you think there's a little bit more interest in this kind of thing now? And it's not just solely for like someone like yourself is very interested, or someone even more specifically your science and that kind of thing. Um, is why are we kind of more interested? You know, a couple of years ago was it, or was it last year? The solar eclipse. Everybody was out, weren't they? And they're, they're all, the special glasses were being made and handed out and that kind of thing. Well, I think it's because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I think it's because there's more knowledge of, of it widely available. Right. So people are more aware that the activities are coming up and therefore they can get involved. Like, you know, a lot of people that I was speaking to today weren't aware that it was happening. But, you know, because we've got things like the World Wide Web. It was, it was streamed from various observatories as well. Yeah. They, they, they were actually pointing, pointing their telescopes at it and hooking up a camera and streaming the streaming the view so there's I admit I didn't know it was happening until the Daily Rundown uh, emailed me and said we were talking about this tonight really so, uh, so slip through the cracks that's, that's why I'm sitting here being fairly quiet about this subject oh, I stupidly managed to miss it because I thought today was the 8th so oh. that's why I was like oh I'm really looking forward to that tomorrow but that's ridiculous obviously everybody was out there and um, they might have been annoyed to realize that they can't use their solar eclipse glasses so it's not a one-size-fits-all because it's a completely different phenomenon yeah and you're not protected well, not to the same extent. I mean, obviously, with a solar eclipse, the majority of the sun is being obscured, whereas with um, with Mercury, it's a very tiny dot just going across the sun. So you'd probably have to look through some sort of micro, eh, not microscope, telescope. And if you're only wearing your own specs and not the actual filters themselves, then your eyes might. Because the get telescope damaged. does its job of amplifying the light and everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But what a fab fabulous day for it as well. It couldn't be more oh, perfect, could yeah, it? Yeah, clear skies. You know, if you had the right equipment, you know, you could see it. It was there for everybody to see. So wonderful stuff going on. Are you interested in that guy who was in the package there, who describes himself as a, so, um, a, a an sun eclipse, chase. A, yeah, an eclipse, eclipse chaser, chaser, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 What a life. Definitely. You'd be into that, wouldn't you? Yeah, going around the world and seeing. Uh, the best the possible places. The sun getting obscured, although, to be fair, if you, if you want to see places go dark, you know, every sort of 16 hours, night time does descend, so... <laughs> <laughs> I went, just go, just close your curtains, yeah. <laughs> same thing. I went down to Cornwall for the, uh, the eclipse there in, was it 99? Yeah, I was there. That was great, great fun, because I went down with a bunch of people who were collecting for charity for the, like, the three days before. Lovely, mm -hmm. yeah. They were all on a campsite, and it was just all, all a little bit crazy, driving around Corn, the Cornish lanes to it, and... Uh, then uh, sitting on in a field above Lou Harbour watching the uh, the solar eclipse. That was fun. And that that was worth doing, I'd say. That was it, yeah, because that that was not quite a once in a lifetime experience, but definitely not something that happens very often. And we collected an awful lot of money for charity at the same time. Great. So. I, feel like I I used to it as a partial eclipse, unfortunately, because I didn't leave I didn't leave my locale. But certainly a wonderful thing to see. So well, you saw the actual aura. Last year's eclipse, I didn't even go outside for it. I just went up the, the stairwell and my block of flats and took a photo of it through the window. Well, you know, it was funny that one, because I remember going out for a walk with the dog in the morning and I was thinking, oh, it's going to lash rain or something. What's happening? And then the, then the birds started going mad, you know, because they were, they, apparently it, it fools them and they think it's, it's night time or something. Yeah. So they start settling. And I was thinking, this, this feels really, really apocalyptic or something. And then I was like, oh, yeah, it's eclipse. So, yeah, and, and like, I missed this one as well. I, 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 it's, I need pieces like this to remind me that these kind of things are happening. But I think it's really brilliant to see people going along to something like that because we've talked about it on the show, haven't we, where um, people won't go to things anymore because they think they can just look it up and they can just look at a, a YouTube clip or just look at the images online. So it's nice to see people getting out there. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. I mean, I mean, one of the things about um, the Mercury transit is back in the day, it used to be, you know, when I'm talking back in the day, I mean 18th, 19th century, yeah. it used to be one of the only um, celestial events where astronomers and you know cosmologists could actually measure the uh, distance of the solar system so they use that to actually work out the size of the solar system so it's, ma it's amazing isn't it though? like going back to those kind of days what people worked out just from looking looking up into the sky mm. uh what's kind of you might know this what's kind of coming up next as far as the 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 space calendar or whatever i, you call I it, actually so. don't know on, but um 
I guess I, I guess what I will do is is when you're interviewing the lovely gentlemen that are here later on, I will, I will look that up and we will talk about what's coming. During up our later. that's a good that's yeah. a good point. During our uh, interview section, yes. you can look all those up. That information, brilliant. Thanks very much for that, guys. Let's go to our next story. The new mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has started his first day in his new job by taking the bus to work. Mr. Khan arrived at City Hall to be greeted by a crowd of well wishers following his victory in last week's election. He received. 57% of the total vote compared to Conservative Zach Goldsmith's 45.6. Mr Khan's victory ends eight years of Conservative leadership at City Hall under Boris Johnson. Now Boris used to cycle to work, so what do you think? Is this Khan's way of making a similar statement? Or I think we were, we were briefly chatting about this before we came in. What do you think, Ian? I think you'd see it. There's an awful lot of symbolism because of what his father's job was. Mm. And I think there's, there's a bit of that in there. And it is, he's... Um, He's committed, he's, he says he's committed to, um, re, to sorting the transport out and getting it um, more... Yeah, I've forgotten the word. <laughs> yeah, efficient. Or efficient yeah, and we're, we're energy arriving efficient. Arriving on time. And, yeah. <laughs> and so <coughs> public transport is a big part of it. And there's uh, the, the, the last, possibly the only good thing Boris did was he introduced a cycle superhighways, which, which opens pretty much on his last day in the job, which right. they, they look like they're, they're doing a pretty good job and getting an awful lot of people off. You know, they, they're giving cyclists in certain parts of the city a nice, safer route. Yeah. And, that, and that'll hopefully get more people on bikes and get cut down on the amount of cars that are out there as well, which will help the, uh, cut down the congestion and the air pollution and all of that stuff. Absolutely, especially especially in London. And obviously then he had the Boris bikes as well. He did a, he did all that as well. Um, we're going to come back. We're going to go for a quick break. But I'll come back to AJ because um, okay. I know you've got stuff to say too. Thanks very much for that, guys. Going for our first quick break of the evening. Don't go anywhere. We've loads more news to talk about and our special guests will be coming up soon as well.